overall, Rio? Comfortable. Comfortable. I thought the man in the picture there, Di Maria, I thought he was tremendous tonight. Two assists, a goal, um, a complete part in, in, in the story tonight. Um, but what was impressive as well was that the other two strikers alongside him, the two superstars, mm. the way they moved off the ball, they made it difficult running in behind, looking to hurt you at all times. And it makes for a, 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 a mouth watering final. I want Bayern to get there. Well, yeah, all the way. <laughs> well, no, no, no disrespect to Lyon, but I Not think it's the final most neutrals would like to see, France mm. versus Germany rather than an all-French final. Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, in terms of calibre of player, you want to see that game. Um, but as, as we all said, it's not going to be easy for Bayern, but yeah. if they do get there, it'll be a mad 14 game. Yeah, 16 years since a, a French side got to the final. That was Monaco. Mm. Sort yeah. of French side. Yeah, they were they were a much fancy side, a much different side to yeah. what we see from the PSGs. This, this is a superstar-driven yeah. team, and I think they're, they're a team that have promised for the last few years uh, in terms of delivering in this tournament and haven't quite got there. And they seem, when you look at the pictures, there's a, we spoke about it the other day, there's, there's a, a difference to the way that they, they, they feel about it. So you can see that they've, they've grasped onto something, yeah. a feeling, an emotion think, do, to do get... Do you think there was a out. difference in their work rate? I think we, we saw them a couple of times, the, mm. particularly the star players up front, when, when they played Liverpool, remember that? We Anfield, were yeah. Quite that critical was a... of the way that they didn't seem to be chasing back or... But they work ethic seemed much different. We went to that game, and like today, we were sat there before the game waiting for a performance, waiting to be entertained. And we were left thoroughly disappointed from not, not just about ability, it wasn't about ability, it was about their application, it was about their work ethic, it was about their intensity to go and press teams, etc. in today's game, which is every team that's successful, Even the they superstars have, have yeah. to do they that. They have, nowadays, yeah. And they didn't do that. And today was an absolute yeah. difference, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, but that's the... What I think they've learned is I understand it. They know they've got the, the flair and the brilliance in one on one occasions, but the work ethic out of position, they need to match teams when they're coming up against, obviously, especially in the semi finals. It really helps when you get off to a good start, doesn't it? In, in any game. And it was, it was a set piece. And I want to talk to you both about zonal marking once we have a look at the goal first. Talk us through it. Yeah, we can talk about zonal marking, but the quality of the cross, again, can be, uh, can be a blocked off Paulson. And Mokinios just exploits the space. Great ball in there. Exceptional pass. I, I didn't like playing in zonal marking at all. It allows for, for you to make excuses. It allows there's always gaps. There's always free runners running from somewhere. Whereas if you're man to man, yeah, I've got hold of Jolian, and then, then it's between me and you, and yeah. then you've got a responsibility I'm, then with a man. Yeah, obviously I played up front, and I loved playing against teams that played zonal marking. They were less uh, less frequent than you, you see nowadays, mm. um, but you can get a run on someone, you can gamble on space. If the ball goes there, you get a leap on the defender. But yeah. Whereas when they're holding you and they're holding you... and I More suppose it's changed about. a little bit with VAR, possibly, because you can't grip and hold... I used to play in games where they used to bear hug you and you couldn't move, but they never whistled for it. Yeah, but it's an art. Man-to-man -man marketing yeah. from corners and set pieces is an art. It's not just easy and it's not something you can just do and expect every player to do, because not all players are comfortable doing that, but... As a defender, it does give you a, an excuse if you do zonal marking and they get a run on you. Yeah. We all like excuses. <laughs> give, a, I was love saying, an excuse. give, yeah. give a footballer an excuse yeah. and he'll use it, that's for sure. Um, the second goal, Di Maria, you picked him out as, you, as your man of the match, Yeah, uh, Rio. Um, the, but this was not just the finish, but the exquisite touch from yeah. Neymar. This isn't about Di Maria, this is about Neymar's awareness. It's that ability to just do things off the cuff and execute. In, in split second decisions, and that's that's when you're separating good players from the top players. And he done that. It was a magnificent. So first, I thought he didn't actually mean it. You see the replay. <laughs> oh, and you I think, think he did. Wow, yeah. great finish from Di Maria. I think 11 goal involvements, uh, which is his best in the in the Champions League. Um, sorry, nine goal involvements, which is one better than when he won it with Real Madrid. Mm. But Di Maria, I mean, since he signed for PSG, he's had the most assists bar Messi in the top leagues. Oh, wow. So he's, he's somebody who's got great output in terms of delivering chances on a plate for players. Yeah. Third goal, sorry it off, really, if there was any chance of a comeback. And... Yeah, PSG, to be fair, every little error that uh, Red Bull created off their own back, they exposed. Um, obviously, he gets in here and it's to fall back getting inside. This, and then... this is very odd, this bit, isn't yeah. it? Where he kind of just slips or but falls. It doesn't seem like or... anyone reacts. They think something has happened yeah. and then no defenders reacting and... As I said, it was a shame. They, they obviously they were pushing the second half, but Neymar desperately getting... trying to mm. pinch it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame him. As all guys. Call but but what, what PSG done is they knocked the stuffing out of this team. Yeah. This is a Red Bull team that we've all talked about. We've all given huge compliments to, and rightly so over this period, uh, course of this tournament. 
But today, PSG got their game plan spot on and they executed that. And, and it was from the first minute. And they really, really ground this team out and they said, listen, this is going to be our semi final. We're taking it all out of your hands. This is about us and not you. And that's what you've got to do in these big competitions, in these big pressure situations. It doesn't look to be the significant weakness in that side that, that perhaps Bayern or Leon, whoever plays them, will exploit. Yeah, there's a there's a strong balance in regards to throughout mm. the team. Maybe the keeper, if Navas isn't yeah, playing, yeah. so maybe that's one weakness. But we touched on it at half time. The keeper's not going to be the man of the match in this game. Yeah. It's going to be left to one of the top players, and mm. Mbappe, Neymar is going to be one of them that are going to have to step up and. and okay. Take the mantle. We'll have uh, more analysis. Uh, we're going to take a, a little breather now. Um, but uh, the big news is that PSG have made their first ever final. It wasn't uh, to be for RB Leipzig, but um, Tuchel will be absolutely delighted. He's done what he's been employed to do, make it to the Champions League final. Yeah, probably the least exciting of the games we've had in this uh, festival of football, but uh, not for PSG and their supporters, that's for sure. They've finally realised an ambition of getting to the final. Uh, now they have to go on and win it, Rio. That'll be the aim. Yeah, that's it, definitely. And I think it's, it's superstars, big players like Neymar's, Mbappe's, etc. They're judged around competitions like this. Can you get your hands on it? Can you be the influence that gets your team across the line? And that's this is what these guys will be dreaming of, I'm sure. Uh, talked about uh, Neymar. He, he, he did some beautiful stuff as always. Um, didn't quite happen for him again in front of goal. Maybe saving him for the final, Joey. Hopefully that's the case. Obviously, he makes exceptional runs off, off the ball. Um, he knows, and they've got a great understanding of them too. Um, Possibly should have used his left foot a little bit earlier, but in terms of this, catches the keeper oh, off guard lucky. and so close to going in. Yeah, ten shots in the two games um, without finding the target. Ten shots, ten nutmegs. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's doing he's doing everything but score, and I think that's the pleasing thing about it. You you can accept it when you're when you're you're you're, um, you're winning, and you're thinking like we you just said there, saving it up for the final. But if he plays like this. They've got a chance because this guy, he draws the fouls, yeah. he drags players out of position to give the likes of Mbappe uh, space or Di Maria yeah. space. He's a he's he, a joy to watch. He generally does play like this, though, doesn't he? I mean, there's always, you know, he does beautiful things. He's creative. He beats players. He's great to watch. Oh, he's an entertainer. He's someone you would pay money to go and see. Yeah. Um, and kids obviously admire him for that reason. But going into a final, I'm not sure you get three or four yeah. chances and can afford to miss them, especially against a team. Mm. I wonder, what, I wonder what odds you'd have got before the game on PSG getting three goals and neither Neymar nor Mbappe on the score sheet. I wouldn't have put money on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, that, whatever. Uh, but yeah. it's, it's, that's the thing. That's what uh, I'm sure for Tuchel will be a great thing for him that he's saying my star names didn't even score, but we, yet we won three 0 convincing as you like. And they still had an influence. They, they, what they do is, they might not score, but they have an effect because they scared the life yeah. out of teams. They went close, that's for Yeah, sure. they did. That was they, a good they, chance. I think this is what the effect they have on players on the opposing team. The defenders are uneasy. They're not yeah. coasting through games. Upa Meccano, great young talent, mm. didn't look as comfortable today. Didn't play badly oh. by any means, but I'm saying there's, there's, there's a discomfort in players. A fear that factor they, that exactly. them players have, and that's what Red Bull didn't have. Mm. And Werner obviously creates yeah. that, that fear factor the for defenders. Was each end of the pitch, really, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, they can get up there, and then as a defender, yeah. if you know you're facing one of the top marksmen yeah. in Europe, you know you have to be concentrating all the time, and that's what yeah. obviously Red Bull had to do. Uh, too cool. Um, he's done what Ancelotti couldn't do, Lauren Blanc couldn't do, Emery couldn't do. Mm. He's got them to a final, the yeah. Champions League. He's obviously domestically they clean up year as they in do, year out yeah. as they do, but get into this is with the benchmark. This is where you'll be judged as a, as a PSG manager because that's the demands of the football club now. They're a huge investment. They want to see it repaid. It's mad, isn't it? The difference a couple of minutes, mate. Oh. Athletic, you know, mm. right that last minute or so um, yeah, in that game crazy. in the uh, Atlanta. And it could have all been different. Yeah, he probably would have been out of a job that evening. Yeah. If he yeah. didn't, then now he could be a court hero. He'll have a, he'll have a statue out there, outside the ground that he wins yeah. this, yeah. definitely. And deservedly so. Again, like I talk about the investment that they've made, the recruitment, etc. It's been years in, in building this and to, to get here, and they promised so much. And, and these players, I mean, I keep going on about it, but there are, it is such a true thing within a football squad is when you feel that moment, there's a game, we just got by a team last minute. Mm there's something and that builds that that kind of feeling that this could be our year and the side of the draw they were on that would have been another indicator listen we've got to get through now we must get to the final and then it's going to be about them versus Leon or Bayern which yeah. we're going to take in tomorrow. RB likes it what can they take out of this? 
A lot of positives. Um, hopefully they don't get dismantled, their squad. They keep a high number of players and, and, and progress. Obviously the recruitment's going to be key again next year. They've lost Werner, so I'm sure they've got replacements in mind. Um, but in regards of, they can take a lot of positives out of their performances and the way they've conducted yeah. themselves. Given their strategy, buying young, etc., have they gone as far as they can go? Have they found their ceiling? Is uh, listen, I think it's, it's, that's probably Very a bit harsh side. because, listen, any team that takes your top goal scorer yeah. out midway through a, a, a competition like this, they're going to be ha uh, harmed. And, and, and they was to that. I mean, their striker, Paulson, has got f five goals this yeah. season. So to expect a Timo Werner performance and effect in, in a game of this magnitude would be, would be, it'd be stupid yeah. to really think that. So, But listen, again, like... Yep. Julian said the recruitment will be, be very important mm -hmm. and keeping hold of some of the players that they, they do have. Yeah, we can hear from uh, their manager now. Here's uh, Julian Nagelsmann. He's with Des Kelly.